Fall is my favorite time of year, and as I've been getting back into the office more, I've realized how many unfinished projects I have. I don't know how you guys are, but I have a tendency to get excited about some kind of project that I have an idea for, and I start it, and then I never finish it. And then I start another one, and I don't finish that one either. So what I've decided to do is I'm going to show you some of my unfinished projects, and then for the rest of this year, I'm going to try and get as many projects done as I can. Um, and these are kind of the rules that I set for myself. So I can buy stuff, but only if it's to finish one of my current projects. Um, I have three different categories, as you'll see later on in this video. I have sewing projects, uh, crocheting slash knitting projects, and then art projects. So let me know down in the comments below what kinds of projects you want to see me work on. So right here at the front is where I keep all of the wedding supplies from a wedding business that I was going to start. Realized that's not what I wanted to do and the wedding stuff is not going to be included in this project. It's to help out family and friends. Over here a little bit further is where I keep all of the material for my sewing projects that I have coming up or material that people have given me. And then here at the very back of the container is where I keep all of my art supplies. These are the art supplies that I don't use very often, so these are the a lot of the projects that have been started and stopped or that I've put aside at some point. I have beads, containers, um, in this drawer I keep like the linoleum blocks, this is the print from this year's Christmas print. Here in this next drawer is where I keep a lot of like the papers, uh, a couple of sketchbooks, some uh, just random papers, some uh, like half finished coloring pages that I got from a Jazza box a couple years ago. And down in this drawer is where I keep some office supplies and then these are also some acrylic and enamel paints that my husband used for some model cars and trucks that he was building a while ago. And then down in this bottom drawer is where I keep my mica powders, they're a type of pigment, and then also a bunch of beads because I used to do a lot of jewelry making. Over here I keep some notebooks and sketchbooks. We also keep just some other random things we don't use very often. And then down here on the bottom shelf I also keep some canvases. Let me explain all of these crazy projects, okay? Starting off with the sewing projects, this first pile is all of the like remodeling, tearing things apart, 
and putting them back together or in a different way kind of projects, altering projects. And then I also have this blue skirt that matches this material that I'm working on making like a medieval renaissance type of a feeling dress. And then I have some blue fabric from my Qatar costume that I'm going to turn into the Sokka costume for my husband. That's just like a really nice material that I really enjoyed working with. Um, and then underneath this fabric, um, I do also have these floral fabrics. Um, I've planned on making dresses. Let me show you a little closer. I planned on making dresses out of these with like an underlying color, um, but I have this in blue and in like this coral color pattern as well. And then I just have a whole bunch of different um, plans. This is a leather jacket, well, a pleather jacket that I got from my sister that I was going to tear apart and use as a pattern to make another one because I really like the fit of it. Um, as you can see, it has all these peelies on it, um, but I thought about using it as a pattern to make a new one. Um, I still plan on doing that in the future, I just haven't got to it yet. I also have a couple other projects that just have some really nice material from like old dresses and old shirts um, that I really like the look of. Um, but I want to turn it into something that I'll actually wear. I didn't like the fit of this dress or this green shirt with these. I'm thinking of adding these sleeves to it potentially, um, dressing it up just a little bit different. I really like the embroidery on these sleeves. Um, and then I also really love the look of this green material. Um, it has just some really pretty lace. And it also has some really pretty trim that goes along with it. Let me know down in the comments below what you would like to see me make out of any of this material. I do have some set plans, but also give me your thoughts of things that you would like to see. On to the next category, which is probably my favorite category, which is the art supplies. So this is all the art projects that I have currently or things that I would like to do. As you can see, a good portion of this is paper, um, but that's just because I have a thing for sketchbooks. I love sketchbooks, um, but I don't complete very many of them, and I know this is a common problem that artists have, but I really want to be able to fill all of these before I buy any more. Um, so let's go ahead and let's take a closer look at some of these projects that I have coming up. I have some foam. Um, I was planning on doing a book nook at one point and so I got this brown uh, foam for my book nook that I never ended up making. And then I have this thicker foam. Um, let's see, it is five millimeter foam. But I got this because I love looking at the cosplay um, armor and I wanted to try my hand at it but I just haven't gotten around to it. So with these art supplies, I want to use them all, but I don't necessarily have something specific planned. So I have some gouache, some multicolor pencils with green, yellow, blue, and red, some oil pastels, some uh, dry pastels, two different kinds, some gold leaf that I've used a little bit, but not much. And then I have several different watercolors that I'd like to try that I haven't tried yet. Some metallic ones, the Koi brand, and then I'd like to do like a cheap art supplies challenge. So this one's from Walmart. I do also have paints for my mural that I'm planning on painting. Some Posca paint pens I haven't used much. These little fine liners. Um, some watercolor pencils that I bought a long time ago that I haven't really used much. So I'd like to try using those and then also practice using alcohol markers more. And then I'd also like to try calligraphy. The last category of projects that I have is my yarn collection. Um, some of them have project ideas already, some of them don't. With this black yarn, I'm planning on crocheting this sweater up in the corner. Um, I'll put the link in the description below for the tutorial for that one. Um, I do also have plans on potentially making this same sweater in this brown color. 
Um, or I might just do another sweater, but I am planning doing a sweater both in the brown and in the black. Um, I do also enjoy knitting, which is this project right here. It's not finished. I'm actually using a tutorial from another YouTuber on this one as well, which I'll put down in the link below. So these ones are crochet, and then this one is knitted. Um, but I'll put her tutorial down below as well. Um, I think it's... I don't know how to pronounce her name, but I'll put her video down below. It's the Sunday Brunch Sweater. Um, and this one's partially done. Um, so this is one side of it. I'm currently working on the other side. So I'll finish this one in another video um, or potentially in this one. I haven't decided which project I'm going to do for the end of this video. This one I was going to use for this shawl, but as you can see, the colors are very different. I bought these yarns in two different years and they changed their coloring on the yarn. So this one I'm going to actually end up using for a sweater instead of the shawl. So all of this yarn is the same color, so I started the shawl over. Um, this yellow one is also going to be a shawl. And then I also have plans to make a couple other sweaters with these colors and then also with these other colors. None of these projects are set so far other than the first sweater and the shawl. So let me know what you'd like to see me create next. Okay, so after showing you all the projects that I have going, I've decided I'm going to start with the shawl that I started, and I'm going to try and get that done as quick as I can, and then I'm going to move forward from there. Okay, so this is where I'm currently at. There's still a few more things that I would like to do with this shawl. Um, I was able to... I was able to find this rusty red color that matches fairly closely with the red already in my shawl. So I'm going to use this and then I also took apart a hat um, that I had made but I want to use this green color for this project as well. So it's going to have a strip of this red color and then it's going to have this in between each section. So it's going to go this, then a stripe of this then a stripe of this again, and then the green, and then another stripe of this, and then a small stripe of this, and then finish it off with this uh, fall, this fall yarn. And then at the very end, I think I'm going to add some tassels, and then depending on how I'm feeling, I might try and see if I can't find a trim to do on this edge that's going to be wrapped around my neck. So let's go ahead and see how that's going to look. At the beginning of this project, at least from this stage where I'm just trying to get it finished, I had pretty high hopes and I thought I would be able to get it done pretty quick, but I quickly ran into several snags um, that we'll see later on in this video. But first I wanted to explain why I'm making this shawl and why it looks the way it does. So I'm working on potentially writing a story and one of the characters um, is this woman who doesn't have a whole lot but she lives in a cabin in the woods and she has this shawl and this is kind of what I imagine her shawl to look like so as I work on this the stages or the way that this shawl looks changes quite a bit over time um, but in the end I'm actually really happy with how it turned out more than uh, what I had originally planned. So this lady, this woman who lives in the woods, wears this shawl, and I decided to actually make this shawl just so I can get a better feel for my character to make her feel more real and authentic. I also really believe there's that there's many magical moments all around us if we just take the time to look for those moments. So for me, I really love to wear shawls or cloaks just to bring a little bit of that magic into my life.
Okay, so far I'm about an hour and about an hour and a half into this project and I still got a long way to go. I've decided that I might not have enough green and I don't want to buy more yarn because the purpose is to use what I already have. So I think what I'm going to do instead is uh, for all of the solid stripes, I'm just going to use that rusty, like rusty red color. And I think I'll have enough to do what I'm hoping to accomplish. But I just wanted to take just a couple minutes to show you some of the supplies that I'm using. Okay, so for my yarn, uh, this is the rusty red color that I'm using. Um, it's from Hobby Lobby. I love this yarn. It just perfectly matched what I already had. Um, I don't... Oh, actually I do. Um, so this other yarn, the one that I started with, is Red Heart. Just a brand from Walmart. Um, acrylic yarn. And it's the fall color scheme. And then the needles, or the crochet hook size that I'm using... Let me get it off. So the crochet hook size that I'm using is the 5.75 millimeter, or the size 10, um, and it just works really well with the size of yarn. I do have a really tight tension um, when I'm working, and so I do tend to use a little bit bigger of a hook to um, get the gauge that I'm looking for. This is a pattern that I'm making up, and so I've crocheted this project and then taken it apart because it wasn't quite what I wanted and crocheting again and just to unravel it again. So I've unraveled and crocheted it multiple times um, but I think this is finally where I want it to be. So I still got a ways to go so let's get back to it. <laughs> So it's been about two and a half hours into this project. I still have a long ways to go, but I'm feeling a little bit nauseous doing stuff this close to my face. So I'm going to take a little bit of a break, get some snacks, some water, and I'll probably spend a little bit of time editing. Otherwise, I'm going to run out of room to record more video. So I don't know how far I'm going to get today, but I'm going to keep pressing on and hopefully tonight or in a couple hours hopefully I'll be able to get back to things so I'll see you when we come back I was gonna do this outside but it is way too windy outside um, but this is my favorite time of the year, but we got a lot to get done today, so we're gonna just jump right into it. I need to finish, um, crocheting the shawl. I had to unravel it yesterday, and I spent all day unraveling it and crocheting it up to the point that it is again, because I got a hole towards kind of the beginning of the project. So, I still have to finish this shawl and edit the video and hopefully get this posted tomorrow. So uh, let's just jump right into it.
as I finish this up, I will try to get this pattern posted on my Patreon page within the next week or so. Let's get ready for the final results. So if you want to do this challenge with me, go ahead over on Instagram, post your project with hashtag uh, end of year projects so that I can see what you guys are working on too. Um, if you want to follow me over there, I'll put the link to my Instagram and my Patreon page down in the description below. Please like and subscribe to help support this channel. And if you want to see more videos like this, or if you want to follow along with this challenge and stay notified, click that notification bell. Um, thanks for watching. Appreciate your guys' love and support. I hope you all have a great day. Thanks. Bye. <music>